Water. We all take it for granted. Beyond your tap, there's a multi-billion pound industry working to provide you with a reliable course of clean, high-quality drinking water. Here at Welsh Water, the money we're investing today will benefit future generations for years to come. I thought it just got, when it rained, I thought it just went to the reservoir. When it, when, when it went through the pipe, I thought it just got cleaned in the pipe when it came through our taps. Like it just got cleaned like just before it got to your house or something. So whenever you like turn the tap or the shower on, you'll be there. I just thought that it was like stored in this little tank behind the tap and turned it on and it went up there. And I thought it was just like a tank that was underground and it was all just cleaned and ready and just come out to the little pipe and into your tap. The water comes in, when it goes into the sea, then it comes up um, from the sun because it's evaporated. It forms clouds. When the clouds get too warm, it rains, and it, then it comes down the mountain. mountain then um, it goes into the reservoir, and then it gets cleaned. We supply around 900 million litres of water every day to all homes and businesses in Wales and adjoining parts of England. Rainwater is collected in our 72 reservoirs throughout Wales and is then taken to one of 78 treatment works. The water is then screened to remove debris and cleaned using a process called clarification. Substances are added which makes the impurities cling together and turn into sludge. This is then separated from the clear water in tanks. Any remaining small particles are removed through filtration using sand and gravel. The water is then pH adjusted to make sure it's not too acidic and finally chlorine is added to remove any remaining bacteria left in the water. Before it leaves the site, the water is tested to make sure it's good to go. It's then stored in one of our 654 service reservoirs, ready for when you turn on the tap. Providing water at the very highest standards is our top priority. We take this extremely seriously and each year we take over 300,000 quality checks just to make sure that those standards are maintained at all times. There are a number of factors that we've taken very seriously over the last few years. First and foremost, we now apply a very, very rigorous risk assessment to the water that we have to treat and the treatment facilities we need to do that. In addition, uh, we've all seen the changes, I think, in the last few summers where we've had very, very heavy rainfall. And this has impacted, on, again, on the raw water that we have to uh, treat before we supply our customers. Combining these two factors has meant that we've embarked on a pretty extensive improvement programme to upgrade treatment facilities across Wales. Regrettably, in 2005, we had an outbreak of cryptosporidiosis in northwest Wales. This was linked to our works at Quethlin, and we responded quickly by installing UV treatment at the works. We've done this to make sure that the water we treat is absolutely up to the very, very highest standards that we want our customers to receive right across Wales. Welsh Water is um, completely um, focused on the interest of our customers, not just individual consumers, but also very large businesses, both here in South Wales and in other parts of the country. But unusually for a water company in England and Wales, Welsh Water is owned entirely for the benefit of our customers. We have no shareholders in the conventional way, and our capital is provided by debt. So our only interest is the interests of our customers. We're regulated by members who are individual volunteers uh, appointed um, because they're interested in what we do and because of their individual expertise and they make sure that we live up to the standards that we aspire to. The overall £200 million water treatment works investment programme in North Wales is progressing quickly and most of the projects are scheduled to be completed by 2015. 
At our site in Alwen, we're investing £15.7 million in a new water treatment works, which includes the addition of a new filtration plant and improved disinfection. At Quechlin, we've invested £13 million in the new water treatment works and over £12 million on a new water treatment works, including UV treatment, at Cumastradlin. £11 million of investment has already been invested in a new water treatment works and UV treatment at Munith Llandegai. At Bryn Cowlid, we've spent £3 million to enhance the water treatment works, including installing UV treatment and a new chloramination plant. Point three five million pounds of UV treatment has already been installed at Kilvor, and over four million pounds is being invested in a new water treatment works at the site. We're also investing in new works and UV treatment at Ivin Funith, Llanur, Glascoid, Lydiadai in Bala, Penna Kevin, and Rugorch. We also spent two million pounds on UV installation at Capel Kirig and Cum Dillon. My door and Hanvodol in Bowadai by Nathal are a Golchev. Rudamine help you can life your Dovodol e via honey. What about Billy Baker?